Hey everybody, Secret Code here, and today we have lords and villains. Violins? I don't know. But this is a game I've been watching. I, I think I played the Idge version on my channel, not sure. Basically, grow a dynasty of medieval families and see them evolve and interact as you build their homes. In this lighthearted pixel art city building strategy, strategy simulation, expand your production chain and influence on the daily lives of the villages to craft a unique story of your settlement. So we're going to craft our own unique story. We're going to learn together. Uh, this is going to be quick, probably 30, 15 minutes gameplay. So don't judge it with these few minutes. Uh, let's just jump right in. I will probably be a little bit silent through the majority. And this is uh, the scale, it's probably a little bit smaller. Go back and uh, we'll, we'll do the tutorial. Title, Lord Mash Potato. Lord Mash Potato is male old age. We'll give him uh, a nice white. Uh, give him that a uh, little bit of a capy cape. He keeps like, rotating too fast. Face forward. Yeah. Better. We'll leave that beard. We can't really see that much detail. There's one child. He's partnered. Interested in females. And we will go forward. Lord Mashed Potato. You have been chosen to join the ranks of my closest vassals to take care of the lands I've given you. It is of the highest importance that you fulfill your duties and serve me. Your rightful king, to bring wealth and prosperity to our kingdom. I have made sure to make it my personal honor to share with you the basics of ruling. We will start with the small settlement in the south. I've sent you the basic supplies and I will guide you through the process. Let's first look around here. Move with Wasta. Now let's look at a little closer. You can zoom by scrolling up and down. If you need to slow down and take a little break, you can press space to pause. Press one, two, three, four, manipulating your time speed. One, two, three. If you will need help, use a knowledge book or the buttons next to the quest. Right? There's a lot of uh, buttons here to remember and the basics that everybody should know in these type of games. Start with uh, start with dedicating the land for households and your mana. Make enough space for beds, cooking and tables for eating. We will also add some storage later. All right, so build a manor. Um, there is a game that I really like that shows you everything to press, like button wise and all that stuff. So build a manor for ruling family. Let's build walls. And I think I do have a, a lot of material, so we'll build walls. Build a manor right here. For the ruling family. Wooden door. We can rotate it with E. Don't really see a rotation there. And 
the floor will be made of oak wood. The roof will be I just hope I have enough materials. Building pretty good, doing a good job. Oops, okay. Zone, manor. Potato. Okay. Household. Perfect. How do you remove zones? Remove all zones cause owning families to lose access to everything within the area. This can put them in a very difficult situation. So be careful with your actions. Okay. I think I, I did all of that though. Okay, now we have to assign more homes to people. Assign households to all peasants, <laughs> to all peasant families. Okay. Where else? That's potato. Oh, let's assign him. I hereby grant the attendance to. Yes. Not the warehouse. What am I doing? Assign family. Lord Mashed Potato. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted to do. And. Who else is there? Who are you? Domingo. Emma Domingo. A lot of Domingos here. Where's my family? I need to see my family. There's a mashed potato. Wait, there's a mashed potato over here. The Mingo family is enormous. Oh my gosh. Where are the mashed potato family? I only have one son, don't I? Where's my one son? I guess it does not exist. Tato is a loner. Assign household to all peasant families. So we got to see what we have to do here at the moment which is trying to assign yes my my mother is visiting guys so you'll probably hear her in the background all right everybody's up very confused at, at this part. This part is confusing me. I, I, I guess. What am I assigning them to though?
I am doing this uh, tremendously wrong. I have no idea what I'm assigning. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to listen to where it's showing me to click. And then this one. Okay, we might have to start a, a new game because we've assigned. Let's let's start this over. Let's process over again because we're learning here, and that's fine to learn and start over again. We do this raw, no edits. We're gonna try to jump in and assign people right away. So we're gonna do another tutorial. The young, younger guy. And, uh, Lord B. Ginner, okay? He has no children, is he? All right, we'll, we'll start with a partner. We'll do as suggested. We are Lord Beginner. about reading is it's hard to do when you're recording because attention spans are very low so assign household to families we will do it up here this time build manor for ruling family okay It's highlighting this. Does it mean start with dedicating the land from the... Start with dedicating the land for households. So is it telling me to dedicate all this? Since it was highlighted? I have no idea. Now, this? Assign household to all peasant families. Okay, so uh, how do how do I do that? Okay, this. Sign. Okay. <laughs> One. 
Jasper. Okay, so there's a drop down menu to do that. Now, now I know I definitely don't have the correct thing done. That's all. Now you need to dedicate where your villains are going to work. Each area has a purpose and requires family professions. Farmers should be over grass fields, uh, fishing pools on shores, and royal for and royal forest on forest. All right, we're learning here. Learning process. Assign family to farmland. Uh, nice little, a nice little farm right here would be good. Nice big farm. We'll sign that to Jasper. Jasper's got that. Then we got a forager. This is really quick and dirty. We can just forge all this. Marcy, you're the forager. And then we got a little bit of a fishy fish here. Nice little fishing areas. Perfect. There we go. Villagers are happy to trade with gold, purchasing resources from each other or directly from the warehouse. To facilitate trade, you need to build a storefront in each zone that can offer goods. All right, we're learning a lot here. Build a storefront. It's very, very dark. That's fine. Let us storefront right here. Sell. Okay. It's free. All right. Offer whip times from your warehouse for free. Don't have a warehouse yet, but uh, offer straw from warehouse for free. Now we gotta build this warehouse. Uh, do we have the wood for it? it? Just says plank. How many planks do we have? We have 200 planks.
we'll do three to speed it up a little bit. Pigs, a lot of different animals here. This is going to be a long build, even on three. Oh my, there's 13 villagers starving as well. Be careful not to let your villagers starve as it, it might lead to unhappiness. All right. There's a lot of learning to learn uh, in this game. which is absolutely fine. I think it's only one developer too. So, you know, these games are super ambitious and usually always fantastic. Almost done. Getting closer and closer to finishing it. Which is awesome. Last piece. It is done. Storefront. Brown storage. All right, let's see uh, what happens. I didn't get to see if I rotated that the correct way. It could be like the complete opposite way. Everybody could be dying as well from starvation. And there's people dying already. There, we got that. The villains are taxed on production. They store those resources and pay them at the end of the season. You can aid them with direct donations, but keep in mind that You'll be collecting income only once per season. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff we're going to have to learn. Uh, grant meals for fishermen, grant meals to farmers. And now we have a better idea of how to assign things. So I think I'm going to do one more playthrough, a more experienced playthrough. And this is just a quick and dirty look, so don't judge the game on this. But uh, the tutorial is actually pretty dang good. I just had to figure out the first part of it. I can't wait to jump right into this game. It's not a review. This is just me playing a game and recording it. So this is nothing detailed. Check it out yourself. I'll leave a link below. Um, 
yes, I just can't wait to get into it. But for now, some voice acting school, um, secret code, and this is uh, Lords and Villains. So I hope you enjoy that, and I'm out. <laughs>